interview the truth be told oh you more people they talk say there are two sides to a story you go talk your own i go talk my own but now god will not be one way the truth inside major hamza and mustafa we stand him for the back of the late general sani abacha for in time for power sit down with us face to face to discuss some stories when surrounding her what will be the thing will inform your desire to join the Nigerian army? To serve Nigeria and uh, to safeguard and protect this country. Uh, my pigeon is poor, but I will try halfway to, to be putting in some small pigeon uh, words. We tried to join some professional colleagues elsewhere in the country but mainly my intention was to serve Nigeria through military. When I joined the military nobody in my family knew I joined. I sneaked, did my exam secretly, my interview secretly. When I got admission I gave Kaduna Polytechnic address with my friends but it was much later my family got to know and it was too late. I was already right there and, uh, and became already a senior cadet when they got to know but it was the wrong address. So I didn't join because I wanted money or any political post. I never joined the military because I want to shine somewhere. I just want to be a soldier and I want to be counted among those who will stand tall to say I'm a soldier from Nigeria defending Nigeria. Mm. I, my ambition is to equate myself with the general anywhere in the world who will say, I am big enough to act as a shield to his country. That is what I came to do, professional excellence, nothing more. And when you be aide de camp mm -hmm. to General Sani Abacha, mm -hmm. uh, before he even reached that Ogbonge position when he sit down as uh, Oga head of state for Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, you don't smile, it be like say, you don't remember, say, you don't get an idea of where the talk won't come from. Between 1985 and mm -hmm. 1990, mm -hmm. uh, they talk say somehow, somehow, mm -hmm. get some kind of underground, mm -hmm. Mm. A meeting where you mm. follow. Mm. I don't know if you remember anyone, I'll be in a room or two. Let me correct you. Mm. The people that gave one magazine that you talked about, information mm. in 1990, in 1998 to be precise, mm. was part of the management mm. because they are afraid of me coming up with many things. Mm. So that magazine initially was being paid 4 million naira through one bank. Mm. And I know the account. Just to punish your Hold image. On. And I said it at a put up panel in the year 2000. And I asked for me, I asked for anybody to take a step to dispute it. If I know something and I don't have facts to support it, I won't talk about it. I will forgive it. Mm. I will forgo that thing. Mm. So that 1985, where you talk, mm. I was not ADC. I was officer commanding intelligence detachment in the chief of army staff's office. Mm, but somehow, somehow, if they join them, officer mm. commanding, but they don't say for the back of General Sani Abacha, mm. now you they always the day. They do, if they snap you, sure. mm. if they see and they must see you for Yes, the I was working there. I was working when he became chief of army staff. The very day he was appointed chief of army staff, that very day I was appointed the officer commanding intelligence detachment so in his office. That position no get anything to do with aid the camp. No, Eddie Camp is different. Eddie Camp, now him, where they wear uniform, they stand behind uh, in Woga. So all the time when they snap the picture with you day back, it just, it just coincidence. I right? had to be there. And you were not Eddie Camp? No, I wasn't. But I acted one time. There was a time I held three offices. Only you, three offices? Yes, of course. I, even, I can do more. You get one particular uh, story when we say they link you with. The talk say, one of the reasons why you mm. don't, this one you don't talk now, say, you mm. feel you hold different positions. Mm. You follow for maybe why they, they trust you where we mm. But some people talk, say, the reason why mm. General Sani Abacha mm. and uh, Ibrahim Baba, uh, Baba Mosi Babangida gave mm. too much faith in you. Mm. Now, the way when we say, uh, if you catch somebody mm. and uh, you want me the person talk true, your own truth, mm. say, get the thing when you go do the person, mm. the person will begin to talk the truth. Mm. She that efficiency to do the job. Re job and they give you a bit of efficiency to do the job when they won't make you do now be the trust. Let me tell you one thing. Soldier are divided into four. Hmm. Some soldiers join the military to get money. 
Some they join because there is no work somewhere. Mm. Some join because of love for the country. Mm. Some join because they seek for any opportunity that will come for them to grab it. Mm. Money, no job, love, opportunity. Correct. Oh, yeah. So some soldiers who, in peace time, they are bigger than Hitler. Mm. In crisis time, they are worse than the lowest, lowest, weak, weak woman. It all depends. I didn't join the army because I need money. I didn't join the army because I want political office. I joined the army because I believe I can deliver. And the love of this country is all that matters. We in Nigeria, we don't know what we have. Amongst, in the international community, other military, no matter how big, no matter how efficient, they know they look us anyhow. Mm. They know fit. If you think you are capable, you, are, you have the capacity of doing B, C, D, we too, we get that mind, we get that knowledge, we get that capacity to do more. But in Nigeria, we are diminishing the military. Every Nigerian, if he open mouths, politician, businessman, many contractors, call it, in all segments of Nigerian society, they will be making reference to America, correct? No president in America can look at the last military man and, and call him bad name. Yeah. That president will be, will be checked out. Yeah. So we should build on the ones we have. The military will now be subordinated to democracy. Democracy will now know that the shield they have is the same military. And put together, that is power. That's democratic power. But here, if you destroy the military and you think you are a Democrat, it's like coming to fight and without shield and you think you are protected. No, you can't. No democracy survives fully without, democ uh, without the military and vice versa. And that is sense. Mm. And that is the practice around the whole world. But because military finds itself in politics, many of the politicians who knew that in the nocturnal night meetings than they do with the military, when this military government come, that military government come, that military government come, go. Many politicians they among, mm -hmm. and they know we know, we know ourselves. So the only thing they can do is to abuse the same military so that people will like them. Hmm. But you see, it doesn't matter how long, the truth is one. It doesn't matter how long, the truth is one. Someday, somehow, things will be unveiled. From 1998 to now, how many years? 1998 to now, now plenty of years ago, about 17 years. It passed. Hmm. From that time till now, we, we have seen many, many, many things. We have seen many, many games. God Almighty has brought us where we are. I'm mm. free to talk to you now. Mm. But before, hold on, nobody they hear our side. Not true. And even when we are out, we don't agree, come talk. We have not said anything. Even when they brought us to one panel, call or put a panel, the thing where we talk now, tiny little thing, we don't say nothing. The whole thing said in the put a panel. That's why one big man in Nigeria. One very big man, he ruled Nigeria before. Mm -hmm. As soon as they released me, they called me to advise me. Ah, make you not go talk, oh, da, 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 da. All the things where you want to talk, you don't talk and for put up panel. Mm -hmm. You know what I tell her? Yes, at a put up panel, na drum of water, they can't keep for us. But me, na only spoon I carry out of the drum, can't talk at a put up panel. We say nothing. The drum is still intact. Mm -hmm. It's one full drum minus one spoon. We talk anything. If not you, well, how will you value it? You think so we talk something? Uh, you know, you talk plenty things. No, that's not. The, now here they tell you that plenty where you think there are plenty. Now one spoon we carry come so, out. So things still plenty to talk. You go talk and here today. Point of view. The truth be told. Interview the truth be told. He get one talk when they be spread, say when it comes to torture, mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. looting, mm -hmm. when it comes to even drug trafficking. Mm -hmm. Say somehow, somehow, mm -hmm. your name they very, very much involved for all those ones. You are now talking about the sponsored rumors. Now, but people they mm. talk say in every uh, mm. inside every rumor, mm. say somehow, somehow, mm. somehow, mm. say truth. Go there, How so many I... types of rumors we get? 
We get plenty. Room or way people sponsor with money. Take a look at it carefully. Rumors when ordinary person sponsor is different. Rumors that somebody in power sponsor is also different. Rumor where contractor sponsor is also different. Rumor where you now sponsor for political reasons also is different. What type of rumors you think say with it? I don't know whether a contractor sponsor that one. Let me answer you. Mm -hmm. Let me answer you. It's finished. First, I, Mustafa, has never tested anything intoxicating in my life. I don't know the test of beer. I don't know the test of wine. I have never done so. Ask the military. When you see officers, even officers, when you see me in officer's mess, I am there because there is official function. After that official function, you can't see me there. That is one. Two, I am not somebody who does not pay attention to his religion. Mm. I'm not boasting that I am better than BCD, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as the teaching is concerned, I'm a Muslim. I don't sleep at night. You know what I do? I pray. Every I, night? I read, I think, and I write. Every night. I'm not a lazy person. I will not tell a soldier to do B if I know I cannot do it. I can't. You talk and say, uh, I am. Um, I stole money. No, according hold to on, the hold rumor. On. Yeah, according to the rumor, mm -hmm. I stole money. Money has no value in my eyes, and you will be shocked. I'm saying this. The way I am is, when I see an individual in need of help, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you come from. I will take every step to help you. See. For all the years I was arrested, there is no way they didn't search. There is no person they have not asked. There is no torture I no go through. Me, stealing is not part of me. Because you don't know me. And because those who sponsored know very well, I can never follow one person still. And that's why I will always say, any person, no matter how big he be, Whichever government, no matter how small the person be, no matter where he is, if I stole one kobo, if you do not show it, I will never forgive you, and I have not. I will place a curse on that person. I put it in writing. In 1998, they asked me a question. President, one person where we hand over power to, say, come rule Nigeria. The person packed everything, and he went and wrote to President Obasanjo, I took the money. Told bodyguard, say, they are money, Nami Kari go Inugu. He gave them guns, they came to Inugu to chase me. But I was called bad names until God Almighty created Oputa. It's God that did Oputa. At Oputa, we now ask, we not do handing and taking over with you? Yes, we do. And where is it? Who took the money? They say, ah, okay, that money, where they collect, they took come give to Obasanjo. Mm -hmm. They same Obasanjo, they say, Nahim. They, uh, they, they told him, say, Nami carried the whole money. Now they come at Oputa and say, they handed it over to Obasanjo government. That was the only time all these bodyguards, soldiers, SSS, police, who believed their money was with me, that I handed over, now came to be apologizing to me. Hmm. But if they had shot me in the process, that's all. And nobody go know. But if me, Mustafa, have taken 10 Naira, you must put me in jail, you must try me. Who, who has entrusted one Naira? If I, I they use this, this medium to challenge, to say, if anybody give me one Naira, or government gave me 10 Naira to pay soldiers or to, for security management, and I took one Naira out of it, person will not challenge me. May God Almighty cause the person. Hmm. You mm -hmm. know why I'm saying this? No, 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 no. Because of the weight of the propaganda. I never talk on that yet. The book where they write now, I send her three volumes. Is for the trial alone. Hmm. I never write my memo. And I will do it for tomorrow. And at the challenge person, ah, when they arrest me, they no go break all the house where I get for Kanu. They came to Abuja, pack all I get, all I get. The only thing that was on me was the shirt and trousers I wear, and jeans, jeans trousers, jeans shirt, and one small canvas. Even that one, they tear the shirt. I was kept with singlet and that trouser for one year in chains. 
and they know I'm a Muslim and they pray. Yet I was in church, no water. In one cup of water per day. No bath, nothing, nothing. And I'm a military officer, I should not be kept in that condition. Yet they know, they know the provisions of the law. They come abandon that one. Where they kept me, you, you are too clean to stay there for one hour. The only friends I get now, God Almighty, the angels with me, and ants. And your last question, say are they torture people, correct? Yeah. Now what's in there? Wait talk, now, hey, hey, it doesn't matter, you have to say, you are echoing what in them talk. Hmm. According to them. We came to Oputapana, and I told Oputapana, Tona Ogburu, he's a pastor now. In 1990, when they come to Okapu, then arrest and carry and come to me. Governor Roger Asaki was, the one, was governor in Lagos that time. At that time, Tona Ogburu soldiers were mad with him mm. because of the dead people where they killed for all the barracks in Lagos. 1990, maybe you were much... Give your history don't provide all that information. No, no, no. no. I mean, I tell you what happened. Mm. Because now we did that. And you get first. No, no, no. People will go tell story day. Mm. If they see ants, they go, ah, now elephant mm -hmm. Then plenty for Nigeria. Because many people like that. They like to hear story where Maggie sold, they all will be added. But me, I believe in truth. Mm. At Oputa Vanal, you know, remember what I talked in 1990? You talk about. And when they say I they torture people, I say, okay, show me one person that I torture. One. But Tona Ogburu, I said, and he was right there. When he was arrested, soldiers wanted to kill him. To collect him from soldiers was a problem. And I said, Nami say, make that soldier Kobokora. They said, no, not be Koboko. It's because they were seeing dead bodies. Hmm. And these are their families. If you see your wife, your son killed. And you see the person that initiated the thing, how you go be and you get gone for your hand. And an emergency time. At that time during Okaku, you think say, nah, every general come out, the generals went to hide. Hmm. Many commanders run away, they go hide. You know how many of us remain to contain that thing? You know how many of us remain? We will not get uh, we, we not get families, we will not get life. Hmm. And we were fasting. And we fought through. What were we? It's the painful thing when you see this now my brother, now fellow Nigerian, we can't train together. Now you carry gun, they shoot us. Hmm. He say this part of Nigeria must go. So anywhere you see that person, you kill. Look at Ojo Cantonment, house to house. You knock at a soldier. You are colleague where you swear together to go defend Nigeria. You knock at his door. Hey, come on, where are you from? Sokoto, boom, boom. Where are you from? Kaduna. So long you are from the north. See, including children. What in children do you? What in woman do you? Even that soldier, what in do you? If you were fighting with Babangida government at that time, go and fight the government if you can. That's another thing entirely. So to bring sanity back to Nigeria, now we can do that. So Ogboru, to be able to allow the soldiers to cool their mind, mm -hmm. they beat up. And you talk this one for put up and you don't hide your voice. Uh, why should I tell lies? If I tell you lies, will I tell you hide it from God Almighty? You know whom I fear? Do you know who? God alone. God Almighty. Point of view. The truth be told. Point of view, the truth be told. The man when they say a military officer, mm. the man will go through a lot mm. for 15 years, mm. say one clear in name, even mm. though they, they carry different things come. Mm. And the man, after he don't regain freedom, mm. we don't discuss the first one. This mm. one, you don't make a day very, very clear. Say mm. a lot of the things when we say they write about you in a very big lie. Mm. I don't go lie. I read plenty, my guy. I like mm. government, I like mm. history. Mm. And the person when they sit down, they follow talk, not be the imagination when I get when I read all these newspapers. Mm. That one don't be very, very clear. Mm. The ordinary Nigeria now, mm. from many of the things when we say they don't read about Major mm. Hamza Al Mustafa, I don't begin to mm. say, okay, oh, mm. now like this is this man day. Mm. I don't know, say you they even they pray. I don't know, say you know they take a small this thing. Mm. But that one don't declare. Mm. Look, we call enter the next phase now, mm -hmm. the trial. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. General Abdul Salam Abubakar take over power, mm -hmm. say they don't do the arrangements, okay, now, Sani Abacha don't go, mm -hmm. make we give you the power now. Mm -hmm. uh, they come around of plenty of now. Mm -hmm. Say, now these people, mm -hmm. now then they spoil this country, now then they spoil the army, mm -hmm. your own can start. Waiting consign mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. 
with Kudirat Abiola mm -hmm. and the elections of 1993, mm -hmm. when we say mm -hmm. out of everybody when they single out for mm -hmm. that particular incident, mm -hmm. it be like saying only that one. Mm -hmm. Be like waiting be the strongest thing when they want you to hold you down. First, there were many charges against me. I was charged for coups, four coups. Even in detention, they come say from that detention, I don't do two coups. Mm. Is that possible for dream? Even for dream? You know, possible. Even for dream. They even talk saying that from uh, Benin Republic, they bring the surface to a missile. Okay, the whole Africa, you get stinger missile. You know the. Why they say now only Mustafa get now spirit that they work with. And the big men, they tell these lies, they sit down, anything they imagine, they put a media, will carry the thing and sell it to the whole world. Now, so journalism be. In this country, many katakata don't happen. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many. And the people, where they look for money, they cost up money and power. They will enter, ta, 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 cause trouble here, da, da, da. And people, will be, all katakata in the whole country, we see how. Where, where are we? My memo will come out. Hmm. Uh, until that memo come out, when mm. you will talk all the time, mm. when you will talk, mm -hmm. you will answer this question between mm. 20th of January 2012 mm. and 12th of July 2013, mm -hmm. when we say Justice Rita Kwemu come talk, say, mm. waiting the court do mm. uh, for 2012, say, it be like, say, they now force, they force them to do, um, mm. waiting be the general, how you take the feel that period, Nothing. when, when courts don't talk, say, this person you know, a death sentence, death by hanging. Let me tell you, when I came to prison, from court that time, my worry is the only one. How my family, hmm. my parents, my friends, my associates go fill up. That's all. Me, nothing concerned me. Right from the gate, I said to them, I'm condemned to death. I'm going to condemn self. Hmm. I don't go back to the other self where I did before. Now me talking by myself. God Almighty wants to see me in that cell, and I was there. And we corrected the place. The fact that somebody is condemned to death. You are a Christian, you said. Mm -hmm. Was Jesus not condemned to death? He was. See, listen. If you receive trials from God Almighty, you should be thankful to the God Almighty. He's testing you. Every person must, best, must face test. Test differs for you and him may be different. For you and him may be different. When you see people castigating you, when you see people persecuting you, don't look at the people, look onto God. You will be bigger than them. You will think bigger than them. You have a bigger than them. You will sympathize with them. And this I have done. Mm -hmm. well, that's why the very step I took out of prison, you know a statement I uttered? Forgiveness to any person, directly or indirectly, who persecuted me. Mm. Because it's not them. And if only they know the spiritual gains I have, that is too big to explain, then they will know that I have not been to prison. Mm. And this is my stand. But writing exactly our experiences is for posterity. Mm. I can come, come now. When the judge give the ruling mm. uh, for 2013, say mm. he don't check everything, don't see him. He just be like, say some people, they know just want make you free. Mm. They just want make them spoil your name. One how, one how. Mm. How you take feel after 15 years no, of trial, first, and trial first, and everything? First, a judge, a high court judge of Lagos here, mm -hmm. in front of her, we can't ask one witness. Whom they give car, they give security, they give him money. They can't write to him how he go say in court, what he go say in court. Hmm. We can't confront him and ask him to carry Bible, swear, and hold Bible talk up. Court say we shouldn't do that. Hmm. When we corner and put him questions like that, you know what he talk? In the cry before the judge. Hmm. He did seek for God Almighty's forgiveness. Say now so they tell him to do. And he mentioned all the big men including the prosecution for Lagos State. In their eyes, he mentioned their names. The judge was shocked. Everybody was shocked. Hmm. Now I'm coming. The person still there. The court can't record that thing. But it, up till now, no newspaper carried that thing. Up till now, no television carried that thing. Another witness can't come. He to come expose the whole thing. He said, now this thing, they crime. They said they should call it Bible and they crime it. 
and that's what ended the Com Com Court, and that's what papers wrote against mm. us. When hold on, hold on. They were shocked. With all this, yet I was convicted to death. Justice Mujisola Dada. When the judge they passed these sentences, believe me, and you wouldn't know the type of person I am. You know, between her and I is what? Do you know what? Is forgiveness. Hmm. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because of God Almighty. Information is power. Hmm. What happens in court? What happens outside the court? Are two different things. Mm -hmm. And the mistake where they come make. Person will know how security of the country they work at. Person will come manage how all the, the, the groups they work. You can't they play games with the minds of people with that person. And you say, because you can't keep me for prison, I'm not going to fit now. What do you want to do for night? Hmm. When you are cooking your lies, because you want people to support you yeah, 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 and to abuse us, you think I'm not going to? Then I don't know anything. Then nobody should trust me. That's why I talk to you with figures. I talk to you with facts. I will talk to you with dates. I will talk to you with time. I will talk to you with associates. Anything where I talk, I, I feel defendant for law, for court. But why wouldn't they come and do the same thing? Why if they hide through somebody, they throw lies against somebody? Mm. That is not what we want. Our younger ones should not copy that. Mm. Our younger ones should be bold, should be simple, should be humane, should be patriotic, should love themselves should provide leadership to the people, should have the capacity, the ability, the zeal, and the wisdom to be citizens of their country. After the 15 years when mm. you spent for mm. trial, retrial, mm. everything like that, mm. now, after you regain your freedom, mm. you can't set up the Al Mustafa Unity and Development Initiative. Mm. You don't talk, say you don't already forgive, not mm. in your mind. You'll be mm. like, who get rest of mind? Mm. You know, as you able to talk, me have been fierce, say, mm. you get a question when I go ask you, no, if you right. lift me up. Uh. But the way we just the answer anything straight, it shows that you, you, you don't you forgive want. and you uh, don't forget. Anything you want. Now I come, come from this initiative now. Mm -hmm. Peace day there, development day there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it means that uh, you don't lay emphasis on the importance, say, mm -hmm. as people from different parts of Nigeria, mm -hmm. north, south, east, mm -hmm. and west, mm -hmm. peace day very important. Mm -hmm. Development day very important. Mm -hmm. What will be the essence of this NGO? Let me tell you. Since 1984, I tell you, say, I the register youth associations. They help them to do many activities across Nigeria. But you never hear my name. Hmm. I was doing it in the name of God. And I made mention of Dr. Olishogun Adele. I said, right when they were small picking, and then they, Nami, they paid their school fees. Hmm. NYO, Nami Starter. I did this so that the North and South will remain the same. Hmm. I did this for peace. I did this so that we can understand ourselves. I did this so that those who will now create this affection in the minds of people to get what they want will not be getting that. Me, I did government for many, many years. There are people who, once there is trouble, now they are they make their money. Hmm. And they are big men. You just said they will rank identity to them. All these answers where you don't give, don't correct, so many years of sustained uh, say, rumor mm -hmm. and all bad bad when they write about you. Mm -hmm. But quick one, I would like to make you look at our camera. Mm -hmm. uh, after everything when you go through, you mm. don't talk and say for your mind. Mm. Say, God, now only God get everything. Mm. You don't forgive all those women, mm. they say, they put her inside, make mm. you go through what you go through. Mm. Mm. But quickly, I go on, you look at our camera mm. and emphasize on the importance of say, okay, well, make we they forgive. And as people, we come mm. from different parts, but mm. all of us are children of Nigeria, mm. make we live together as one. Mm. You go look at our camera and talk and make the whole world see your face, make them hear you. Well, first of all, all the interview where Hinkong ask me, I will try to do it in Pigeon now. Mm, yeah. All the interview where Hinkong ask, I answered in questions, even the questions they plenty pass uh, the answers where I give. I wish we get plenty of time, I will talk many things. I forgive. If you know God Almighty, if your faith is strong, you will know that we are different. Each person is the way God Almighty wants to see him. But the most important thing is love, affection, care, concern, patriotism, and brotherhood spirit. So me, I don't forgive everybody. Everybody either is my father, my uncle, my sister, my auntie, my younger ones, my junior brothers, and the younger ones yet to be born even. 
the poor, I love poor people because they are the ones that have been exploited and they are the majority. Hmm. In a country where you have a lot, the poor must be protected, must be supported, must be cushioned uh, out of hardship. And any person where they take plenty that is meant for the poor, no matter who he be, no matter how big he is, he did, does not deserve respect. Hmm. Major, no, no matter who he be. Major, thank you very much. Say you give us opportunity to mm. follow us talk and answer a lot of our questions. Mm. In truth, mm. we get plenty things to talk about, mm. and we know say you get plenty answers because this now so many years of. Uh, mm. uh, one kind of information when we say some people don't carry. Mm. But as you don't come talk the truth now, mm. we go feel balance the two together. And mm. the world, especially mm. the average people, mm. the ordinary Nigerians, they go mm. know say, okay, well, uh, see the truth mm. and they go know where they will come from. Mm. Thank you very much for this very good Thank opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. If you are not just enjoy the video they want to just watch, make sure to sharply, sharply subscribe to our channel. Not done.